Today, we're gonna show you how to make sure your snorkels are watertight. Over the years, I've gotten requests on what's the best way to check to see if your snorkels is watertight. I just never really had the chance or whatever to do the video. So I figured, why not? I have this tool, which this tool is what we use in the automotive industry to smoke fuel tanks and evap systems and intake plenums and all kinds of things to check for leaks. This tool can be used on a variety of things and I'll have a link down below in the video description. Now the best thing about this one here is it comes with a built-in air compressor so you don't have to have external air. You can plug this right into the battery on the vehicle itself. In this case we're going to use a separate battery because I just that's its ease of the video so we're going to hook this up just let it hang there clip our leads down onto our battery there we go and we have this universal expander i don't remember what they call it but you can put it just about anywhere and expand it i'm going to show you that but first we want to plug off the exhaust because air is going to escape out of the exhaust and we're using the cone that actually comes with that unit there and we just zip tied this end here this is another universal piece but it's going to do good as a a butt plug there for us so we're going to expand this up and then we're going to put this in there and we're going to expand it some more there we go that's a nice tight seal We'll just grab our end from the machine and we'll plug it up like so. Now all we have to do is hit the on button and let it do its thing and we'll keep an eye on it and see if we got any leaks. I have a feeling that we are going to have a leak which is why we're doing this on this because I think the intake, the 3D printed intake that I got from Vakti Verico is leaking around the injectors. So we're gonna find out. So we did find a leak, which is to be expected. The RJWC exhaust is leaking around this flange. You're never gonna really have a 100% seal there. So we're not gonna worry about that. You can't see it on camera. It's not really showing up. Let me go to the other side because the wind was blowing this way. Can you see it? Eh, I don't know if I can get it to pick up. But you can see it, I can see it. And it's leaking out of the exhaust itself. And you can't really see. I wish that smoke was a little darker. Plus the wind's blowing. And you can see where that injector is leaking. Let's see, you see that? Right there, it's literally, let's see. Right there, that's the injector. It's been leaking for a hot minute. And it's got smoke coming out of it too. Look real close. I can kind of see it on camera, but not really. The injector's been leaking. Um, that's kind of the pros and cons about a 3D printed intake. I'm going to pull that injector out of there and silicone it. But other than that, she's not really... There, you can see that, but only because it's coming out. There's a bunch of it. So, yep. But other than that, my uh, box here wasn't leaking. No leaking there. So that's a plus. Huh. That's a good sign. Just those two things, which I figured the exhaust would leak. The stock does it too. It... You could put a new, oh, there we go. Jam that back in there. You could put a new donut in. It'll seal up for maybe a ride or two, but then it'll be back to kind of being leaky. 
don't worry about it unless it's really loud so there you have it ladies and gentlemen you gotta plug off that exhaust because if not it'll go through the intake it'll go through whatever open valves are open front head rear head cylinder one cylinder two whatever and it'll go straight out the exhaust and it won't build up in there now this one was building up just a little pressure you're probably not gonna get a whole lot of pressure build up and that's because of the leaks now you could if you're building a snorkel you could uh, cap off one end all the way to the throttle body and test just the snorkel itself to put some pressure into it but with the little pump that's in here it's not going to build up pressure very quick and very easy so really you're just looking for that smoke and because it will seep out it'll seep out of any crack i promise you'll find it um this little tool you you just can't can't beat it i mean it's a good tool to have in the shop you never know when you're gonna need it or want it or use it and it takes baby oil that's all it takes it is expensive it's like seven bucks for the stuff last time we bought it and but it'll last forever forever trust me it'll last you a ton of years so all right guys i want to thank you for tuning in that's just a quick one on how to test your snorkel setup if you were to snorkel your atv i've had a couple of questions recently and i've had a ton of questions in the past and people are always asking me when i try to explain this they just don't understand some do because they're a mechanic and then others they just don't understand so here's how you test it and this is the proper way so it's the only proper way I know. If you have a better way other than filling it up with water and seeing if it leaks out, let me know. Peace out. God bless, guys. I'm sick, so I'm out of here.